In this video, we'll be exploring a rare scene in Mass Effect 3 during the mission on Rannoch. This occurs if Tally and Legion both died or were not recruited in Mass Effect 2. Keep watching to see how it plays out. What's up everyone, Big Dan here. Before we begin, I have a bunch of different Mass Effect trilogy guides and lore videos on my channel, so if you're interested in seeing more, hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's dive right in. The end of Priority Rannoch is one of the most intense and pivotal moments in Mass Effect 3 as you take down a Reaper on foot and then resolve the nearly three century old conflict between the Geth and Quarians one way or another. This scene also features some of the best voice acting and writing for both Tally and Legion, which caps off one of the most memorable scenes in the entire trilogy. Shepard, you can't choose the Geth over my people. Do you remember the question that caused the creators to attack us, Talizora? Does this unit have a soul? But what happens if Legion and Tally are both absent from this mission, either because they died or were not recruited in Mass Effect 2? There are a number of differences in dialogue, both on the Normandy and during missions and scenes prior to the end of Priority Rannoch, but I will explore those differences in separate videos, which I'll post in the next few days. Today, I just want to focus on those final moments of Priority Rannoch. Without Tally and Legion, both of their characters are replaced by stand-ins for this particular scene. In Tally's case, her role during this scene is played by Admiral Shala Ron, who we first encountered during Tally's treason trial in Mass Effect 2. Tally often referred to her as Auntie Ron. Auntie Ron, Shepard Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shala Ron Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. In Legion's case, our friendly Geth has been replaced by a holographic reconstruction of his personality, which is simply referred to as the Geth VI throughout the course of the game. At the end of the mission, you will need to side with either the Corians or the Geth, as peace is not possible without Tally and Legion. Let's first explore what happens when we side with the Corians. You did it, Shepard. The Geth free to stop firing. They're completely vulnerable. Shepard Commander, the Geth only acted in defense after the Creators attacked. Do we deserve death? What are you suggesting? Our upgrades. With the old machine dead, we could upload them to all Geth without sacrificing their independence. That's madness. The Geth would be as intelligent as they were when the Reaper was controlling them. Yes, but with free will, each Geth unit would be a true intelligence. We would be alive, and we could help you. Shepard, Admiral Geralt isn't going to break up his attack. If you upload that code, the Quarian people die. The Creators are irrational. They cannot be trusted as allies. Allow us to upload the code and the Geth fleet will support you. No, I can't risk the Quarian fleet. Not to save the Geth. Shepard. They tried to flee. Stay on them. With these upgrades, our fleet could retake Earth. We could assist with the Crucible. Please, this is not justice. I'm sorry. We were correct to distrust organics. Uploading the code. I knew it would turn on us. A pity. It seemed so sincere.
You did it, Commander. Thanks to you, the Quarian people have reclaimed their homeworld. And once we've completed repairs to the fleet, we're prepared to return the favor. Our engineers can also assist with the building of the Crucible. The Geth left some fascinating technology that may help you. Thank you, Admirals. Your name will go down in our histories, Commander Shepard. Kill us alive. In this scene, if Tally is present, she will stab the Geth with a knife, but Ron just blows it away with a shotgun instead. I find it interesting that the Geth VI appeals to Shepard on the basis of Corian irrationality, instead of Legion's typical, does this unit have a soul? Now let's see what happens when we side with the Geth against Shala Ron and the Corians. The creators are irrational. They cannot be trusted as allies. Allow us to upload the code and the Geth fleet will support you. Upload the code to the Geth. Admiral Ron, call off the fleet if you can. Uploading. 20%. Damn it, Shepard! Don't do this! My people will die! Your people began this war. We will end it. 40%. I'm sorry. Damn you. Damn you all! Error. Copying code is insufficient. Direct personality dissemination required. Shepard Commander, our skepticism was misplaced. Thank you. enable this upgrade. Because of you, we are a people, and we are free. And the Geth that worked with me? That personality construct is dead. It sacrificed itself to deliver the code upgrade to all Geth units, and we will uphold its promise. We are already repairing ships, and our technology can help build the Crucible. Thank you. We regret the deaths of the Creators. They made their choice. Much like Tally, Ron commits suicide if you side with the Geth. But in this case, Shepard barely seems to care. Like, whoops, she just shot herself. Ah oh well. As for the Geth, unlike Legion, the Geth VI doesn't reach full self-actualization as an individual personality. Shepard Commander, our skepticism was misplaced. Shepard Commander, I must go to them. I'm... I'm sorry. It's the only way. 
I definitely do not recommend setting up this scenario in your own playthrough, but curiosity got the better of me, and I just had to see how things would play out without Tally and Legion. So there you have it. What happens at the end of Priority Rannoch if Tally and Legion are both gone? If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.